Welcome back everyone, today we are going to make some lead sodium alloy. For this 2 grams of sodium and 5 grams of lead are needed. Lead alloy is useful for drying various solvents without being too violent. The reagents were weighed out in advance and all of the reagents were added to a small beaker. To limit the amount of oxygen entering the beaker, it was covered in aluminium foil. Afterwards, the mixture was heated up using a Bunsen burner. We heated it until an even mixture was formed. Afterwards, we were left with a brittle black mass. By using a spatula and some brute force, the lead sodium alloy was removed from the beaker. We actually ended up breaking the beaker. Everything that remained in the beaker and the glass shards were put into the second beaker and we added some water to test the lead sodium alloy for its reactivity. Hydrogen was formed, but the reaction was not nearly as reactive as when dropping sodium in water. And there you have it, some lead sodium alloy which could be used to dry various solvents. Hell, you can even use it to dry water because it will not lead to the reaction blowing up into your face. If you like this video, make sure to drop me one of these and consider subscribing to my channel for more stuff like this in the future. I wish all of you a nice day, until next time. Bye. Desiccator box, a really crude desiccator box was prepared. We have two times calcium chloride and sodium hydroxide in these glasses to absorb all of the acetic acid which remains in the solution. The lead acetate solution will go straight into these both crystallization dishes.